This pillow is made for children, yet the warning label says not to be used by children. Wait, what? We'll find out more about this madness on today's episode of Politichicks. No one has been more outspoken about pointing out these ridiculous over-regulated warning labels than today's guest, Bob Dorigo Jones, who was recently on John Stossel's show. Bob, welcome to Politichicks. Tell us about this madness. It's great to be here. You Thank know, you. In a country where a guy can file a lawsuit after dunking a basketball, catching his teeth in the net somehow, <laughs> And then You're not serious. he did that, really? and he brought that lawsuit to court, and he walked away with fifty thousand dollars. Unbelievable! So that's why anybody who makes a product in America today has to be constantly looking over their shoulders for the next lawsuit. Oh my God! And so we have become an overworn society. We have so many warnings around us that tell us common sense things, but the product makers know if they don't tell you, for example, that a fishing lure is harmful if swallowed, which is an actual <laughs> warning label, that they could be sued. So a manufacturer told us they spent thousands of dollars on legal bills before they settled on that warning label. How did you get involved in all this? How did this all start for you? Uh, about 15 years ago, we found a warning label on a baby stroller that said, remove child before folding. <laughs> <laughs> did we, uh, okay, did we just get stupider since I was a kid or what? I right. don't understand. How because did our you... parents didn't need to be warned of these things. Our grandparents didn't need to be warned, for example, that a scooter moves when used, which is an actual label today. <laughs> it's been a shift in our society. You know, uh, we get that question all the time. Uh, it's only been really the last 20 or 30 years that you've seen these pop up and you don't see them around the world. So when we do this contest, we get film crews from Asia, Europe, all over wondering, why do you Americans need to be warned of these things? It's obvious, right? <laughs> well. A law school started teaching that instead of litigation being a last resort, it should be a, a first reaction sometimes. And that changed everything oh, yeah. in America. So now when somebody does something and might hurt themselves, we don't believe most people will do that, but enough people will file a lawsuit that they have to have these warning labels. I love the irony and the humor when we can inject it in politics and see politics from that perspective because frankly it makes politics less dry, more yes. entertaining. But what does this really say about where we are with our government, with our litigious society? What does this mean for us really, Bob, as a culture? It means one of the institutions that we uh, depend on, the courts, has allowed personal responsibility to erode to s such a point mm -hmm. that you can't count on justice anymore. So that the people who are really the creators in our society, whether they're the inventors, the doctors, and so on, they can't count on the courts doing the right thing if they're sued in a frivolous matter. Exactly. So that's the problem. Even if we're never sued, we're going to pay for that because we pay more for health care, we pay more for cars when we buy them, insurance, everything. So, so where does this go? Where does this lead us? I mean, where are we headed? Well, we're headed toward a, a point where we pay a litigation tax which is so high that it is hurting our economy. Today in America, Litigation is such a, 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 to such an extent that when you compare us with other countries that we're competing with for jobs, mm -hmm. we pay mm -hmm. for every man, woman, and child in America $1,900 a year extra for everything we buy. So that puts us at a huge disadvantage. Oh my so does that mean that it, the reality, the implication of this, not just the money, not just the tax as you, as you mentioned it, but we're actually having less innovative products because people yes. just are finding other careers who are the real innovators? That's what really concerns me mm -hmm. as a father and as mm -hmm. a consumer. I have, there are products that my kids could use that they don't use because the manufacturers are afraid to bring them to market. I live in Detroit, right across the border, uh, Women who are pregnant can use a drug to relieve all of the symptoms of morning sickness that my wife couldn't use because the manufacturer said we're not going to sell it in America, so it's used all over uh, Europe, all over Canada, and over the rest of the world, mm -hmm. but they don't sell it in America, so we have women all over the United States unnecessarily suffering through morning sickness. And, and it's pregnancy. giving those other countries a leg up really economically on the United States because we are so litigious. Oh, yeah. it does. It and does. It, so it's a job killer, all these lawsuits. Yeah. It adds more to everything we buy and it erodes uh, the values that we raise our kids uh, trusting and personal responsibility. I think that one of the best labels I saw recently was on my dog's prescription bottle and it said, <laughs> when, after, when using this, do not operate machinery. <laughs> <That's good>. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's all the time we have for now and for today, but stay tuned for our next episode in which we show you the Wacky Warning Labels winners. You're going to love this. And thank you for watching Politichicks.tv, the right kind of PC.